Okay, we're going to send a letter to Obama about the space elevator. And we're going to ask for money. Exactly. $54 billion and what? Excuse me. I'm trying to stay calm. Yeah, it's hard to stay calm when you're asking for that much money. So you think we should start a company? That's the idea? Yeah. Mm. An honest organization that's dedicated to space travel. Exactly. I mean, maybe that's going to be the Starfleet of tomorrow. It's like, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, the Federation, the United Federation of Planets. Yeah. Cool. Maybe that's how it all starts. Maybe Captain Kirk will be born in Iowa in the 23rd century. Um, but it has to start somewhere. I mean, people are not paying enough attention to space travel, and I think that the space elevator is a good idea. I don't know that Obama is actually going to be interested in the idea, but I think the idea is interesting in itself. That we're going to, we want to know what you would put in this letter to Obama asking for money. Yeah. Because honestly, it's like a message from the people. as many voices as possible, uh, different points of view. And check out the legality of um, actually receiving donations for this, because it's like, a, a man, I, I don't know if it should be taxation, because then you're asking people to, taxation is when you ask people to pay for something against their will. But this is like a contribution, like $54 billion from Obama. Because the Democrats love giving away money, but they gotta give away the money to the right cause, dude. We gotta get, we gotta get to outer space. Yeah, we were talking about population control last night. Yeah. But, well, you gotta send people into space because you can't really, if you if you tell people that uh, they can't have the amount of children they wanna have, yeah. then they, then you're violating individual rights. Right on, dude. Oh man. Oh. So it is about expansion. Like, or or I was thinking we could live in like a more tribal society on Earth where we just have magnetic transport from tribe to tribe and just instead of these eight yeah but eventually you, you run out of room eventually you're right eventually we have to get into space so it's like a two two way street yeah and you can't really lose going into space because you got to admit someday the sun's going to give out yeah and this oh right. so the 54 billion yeah what would it go towards what how'd you get that number yeah yeah, didn't you get that number before? Remember you made a, the video uh, about the space elevator. Is that the number you came up with, or did we come up with that number? Could have been the both of us. I don't. I don't remember the because, fifty forces. Because every time we talk about this, it's like fifty-four billion dollars. Fifty-four billion dollars. Yeah, that would that would buy a lot of sushi. But sushi. <laughs> sushi. Well, what? Like, are you? Of course, for you, got, you can't research make research and development. Well, the, the, that's just the thing. There has been research in the universities, right? So just develop. Okay. Okay, I think it's up to us to figure out how to build it. A space elevator. And where did you say you, you had to put it? Well, I keep thinking of putting it in Mexico. One, I mean, honestly, I mean, there's a few reasons for it. Okay. Is that one is Mexican labor is cheap, okay. Yeah, and, and it would be a great boon for their economy. It would be a great boon for our economy to have this cross-border travel and it's like two union working on this thing. And uh, it's close to the equator, this and that. Uh, Explain the equator thing. I, I don't think they're acquainted with this oh. idea. Well, when there's a an orbit, as far as I know, man, dude, it's been a while. I, like, actively stopped being scientific for a while. Um, in geosynchronous orbit, the thing... I don't know why. It's you don't want it to. Ball. You don't want that cord to wrap around the Earth. Is that it? I think. Yeah, because I think so, so, maybe. because I think that if I think that the, if you actually have a space elevator, and it breaks on top, you're gonna have a um, three mile. It's gonna roll around the Earth for about three miles wide. So, I was thinking. I'm trying to visualize like if there's a big sphere, like if you had a beach ball mm. and, a, and a rope attached near the top of the beach ball, like at this angle, mm -hmm. and then the beach ball was going like this every six months, if that would be even, because if it had be 
being at this angle, whereas if it's at a straight angle and it goes like that, or it's six bars, it's, it's definitely going to be even. Up here, it might be even. So I don't know why it has to be near the equator. Civilization four said it has to be built within 30 degrees of the equator, so I base it all on the equator. And I've read it, it, it has to be a You know, the, the price per pound of material uh, to put in space is, would go down considerably. Like, like it's like right. I forget right now, but it's like in the hundreds of thousands of dollars per pound of material to put into space right now. But um, with a space elevator, that would come that would come down to about fifty dollars. So we would make space, uh, you know, space development a lot better. So yeah, we want to write this letter to Obama. We want to know what you guys think should go on this letter. And uh, that's part one of this video. Part two is about the comment issue, right? I mean, are you going to... Oh, um, well, I've yet to read them, but it was brought to my attention that some dude, uh, Marinello6, was spamming the shit out of that last video. Uh, yeah, I would say that's, yes. Uh, I would say spamming is the right word. I mean, what the hell? Ah. Uh. And it's such inane bullshit. I mean, uh, oh, fuck. I, I, I can't even. I'm speechless. It, it, as far as I'm concerned, everyone is, is free to do a spam a lot once in a while. Yeah, but that was... At least once. Everyone can just blow their wad. I think he, he just blew his wad for the next 10 yeah, years. He sure did, man. I mean, from what I saw, when someone does eight comments in a row... That's a lot of fucking comments. And if they, I'm going to read them, and if they're inflammatory or deflammatory. Whoa, deflammatory? If they're inflammatory in nature, then oh. this can be a problem. So check yourself and be cool. Be excellent to each other. Dude. Excellent. Party time. <laughs> Ian doesn't speak in slogans. He doesn't like bumper stickers talk. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I, I, I don't, like, dislike people, but I do dislike the way people act sometimes. So, you know, I, and I'm following my friends on this one. If, if people are uncomfortable and stuff because of uh, something that I have control over, then I'm going to have to make a decision about taking control of that thing. You take control of that thing. You take control of that thing. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's fine, man. Just, just want to be honest. Yeah. Right, cheers. Man!